Transfection, Basics and Optimization of Transfection Transfection is the process, of introduction of foreign DNA into the nucleus of eukaryotic cell. The cells, which has incorporated exogenous DNA are called transfectants. There are two types of transfection possible. Transient transfection and stable transfection. In transient transfection, the foreign DNA will not get incorporated into the host genome, but genes are expressed for a limited period of time. Stable transfectants, will have the foreign DNA incorporated into the genome. Here is the overview of transient transfection protocol. Transfection methodologies. Following are the methodologies, that are used for transfection, each of the below strategies has its own advantages and disadvantages, so one need to choose the suitable method based on the application. Reagent-based, instrument-based, and viral-mediated. Transfection, reagent-based. Reagent-based methods are simple, the reagent used, neutralizes the negative charge and condenses the DNA for effective uptake. As the cell membrane is negatively charged, negatively charged DNA molecules will be repelled from the cells, for the cells to take up DNA the net charge need to be positive, that is the reason why reagents are used. The main principle of using reagents is to give the DNA a net positive charge either by reagents binding to the DNA or by forming complexes with the DNA. Following are the commonly used reagents for transfection. Calcium phosphate, lipids, and cationic polymers. Calcium phosphate mediated transfection. The mechanism of DNA uptake by calcium phosphate mediated method is not well understood. In this method, the DNA to be transfected is mixed with calcium chloride, then this is added slowly to a buffered saline or phosphate solution. Incubating this mixture with the cells to be transfected. The cells will take up the DNA by endocytic pathways. Lipid mediated transfection, lipofection. Polar lipids formed of highly positive charge head groups attached to hydrophobic tails. Electrostatic interaction between positive charges of the head groups of cationic lipids and negatively charged phosphate groups, of the DNA are the main forces that allow DNA to be spontaneously associated with the cationic lipids. Cationic lipids used in transfection. Examples of lipids used in transfection are. Dope, Dotma, Dotop. Lipoplexus. Lipoplexus are organized lipid molecules in the form of micelle or liposomes, which when complexed with DNA can be used effectively for transfection. The net positive charge of the lipoplexus are effective for transfection. Reagents for transfection are also made of helper lipids. Helper lipids in conjunction with cationic lipids form structures called liposomes, they can effectively encapsulate DNA. Cationic polymers mediated transfection. Cationic polymers differ from cationic lipids as they do not have hydrophobic moiety. Cationic polymers can more efficiently condense DNA. There are three different types of cationic polymers used for transfection. Linear, branched and spherical. Cationic polymers includes PEI and dendrimers. PEI is very effective nucleic acid condensing agent. Cationic polymers like PEI forms complex with DNA called the polypelix. This complex has net positive charge, are very effective in transfection. DEAE, dextrin. DEAE dextrin is a cationic polymer that tightly associated with negatively charged nucleic acid. The positively charged polymer DNA complex comes into close association with negatively charged membrane. Lipopolyplex. Lipopolyplexes are combination of lipids and cationic polymers which can form complex with DNA and aid in effective transfection. Ideal features of transfection complex. Size, 40 to 1000 nanometers. Charge, transfection complex should have a net positive charge. Positive surface charge density. Charge ratio. N by P ratio equals. Reagent concentration in nitrogen residues by DNA concentration in phosphate moieties. N by P ratio is very important for optimization. 
transfection, instrument-based. Nucleic acids are transported mechanically into the cells, following are the commonly used methods for instrument-based transfection. Electroporation, biolistic technology, microinjection, and laserfection or optoinjection. Electroporation. The procedure involves placing the cell suspension and the foreign material to be transferred into plastic or glass cuvette. The cuvettes used here are specially meant for electroporation, they have aluminium electrodes at the sides. The voltage and capacitance is set and the cuvette inserted into the electroporator. Once after electroporation, few milliliters of medium is added, and is incubated at the culture's optimal temperature for an hour or more to allow recovery of the cells. The transformed cells can be screened out using selectable markers in the plasmid. Advantages and Disadvantages of Electroporation Electroporation has the following advantages and disadvantages. Advantages Versatility, electroporation is effective with nearly all cell and species types. Efficiency, a large majority of cells take in the target DNA or molecule. Small scale, the amount of DNA required is smaller as compared with other methods. Disadvantages Cell damage, if the electric pulses are given for long time or with more intensity, some pores may become too large or fail to close after membrane discharge causing cell damage or rupture. Nonspecific transport the transport of material into and out of the cell during the time of electropermeability is relatively nonspecific. This may result in an ion imbalance that could later lead to improper cell function and cell death. Biolistic transformation Biolistic transformation is the transfer of nucleic acid into cells via high-velocity nucleic acid-coated microparticles. Laserfection or optoinjection this procedure uses laser light to transiently permeabilize cells in very short time. Various substances can be efficiently poinjected including ions, small molecules, dextrins plasmids, proteins, etc. Viral mediated transfection. Following are the commonly used viral vectors. The characteristic features of viral vectors are Advantages and disadvantages of different transfection method Evaluating transfection performance, reporter systems Green fluorescent protein luciferase reporter, beta-galactosidase, secreted alkaline phosphatase. Direct visualization of nucleic acid delivery. Nucleic acid labeling. Fluorescent label cyanin dyes, fluorescein, epitope tags. Covalent linkage of dye to the DNA. Factors affecting transfection. Media, nucleic acid, complexing time, cell culture condition, harvesting time. Transfection, Optimization Media Culture media plays a major role in transfection efficiency. Cell culture media mostly supplemented with serum. For efficient transfection transfection complex should be made in serum-free media. The reason for serum-free media usage for transfection complex formation is that, the serum has nucleases in it which can chew up the nucleic acids. Antibiotics also should be avoided in the transfection complex formation media, as the antibiotics are charged, they can interfere in the transfection complex formation and thereby reducing the transfection efficiency. Other charged compounds like polyanions should be avoided and also surfactants like pleuronic F68, mostly used as anti-foaming agent, should be avoided. Nucleic Acid the quality of nucleic acid used for transfection is also important. The plasmid purity or the 260 by 280 ratio of the plasmid used for transfection should be greater than 1.8. Most of the times plasmid preps gets contaminated with endotoxins, the endotoxin contaminated DNA inhibits the transfection or will yield very low transfection efficiency. Complexing time. 
Complexing time is yet another important factor which need to be optimized for better transfection efficiency. If the the complexing time is too then the complex formed will be big, which will be difficult for the cells to take up, thereby reducing the transfection efficiency. Ideal complex formation time is 15 to 30 minutes, but this need to be experimented as the different cell lines will behave differently, complex formation time above 30 minutes will have low transfection efficiency. For mRNA transfection ideal complex formation time will be 5 to 10 minutes. Cell culture conditions. Adherent cell confluency affects transfection. Low confluency, 25% not good. 50 to 70% confluency is good for transfection. At greater than 90% confluency, cells will not take up DNA to nuclei because of the dissociation of nuclear membrane.